Hi, this is the um, how to fix the error 1604 on the iPod Touch and probably the iPod iPhone. I actually had this problem, the 1604 error, and fixed it uh, with this method. My iPod Touch stalled, so I had to reset it by pressing that and that one at the same time. Uh, I reset it doing that. I resetted it doing that, and um, it would just it just started up on the on the uh, Apple logo screen and just stayed there. I did this, repeated this many times, but it didn't work. Attempting to connect it up to the computer, iTunes wouldn't recognise it, and so I tried doing a hard reset on the iPod Touch, which I which I, which worked, which but came up to be. Um, the logo of the iTunes and the the USB connector. Then connecting that to the computer, I um, it came up. It, iTunes found it, but only um, it had the error and said it needed to be restored. Uh, once restoring it, well, what once trying to restore it, it came up with the error 1604 which I've now fixed using this method. If you, dis if you disconnect the iPod and go to my computer and this is for Vista uh, my computer then C drive then if you go to your user and then click your user which is whatever your name is then you should see app data at the top which is a hidden folder so you may have to unhide it then go into local and then apple computer and itunes then these two files if you delete them I, itunes will redo them again if you delete them straight away after deleting those, you want to go back to uh, the app data folder and click on roaming. After clicking on roaming, uh, click Apple Computer again and then click iTunes again and then click iPod Software Update. That file there is the one for the restoring for the firmware uh, so you need to delete that that'll be like 200 meg and, and it'll be the old type of version so you need to get uh, download the new one once deleting that after deleting that after deleting that you need to if you go back to um, iTunes Then on iTunes, if you connect your iPod back up again, once back on iTunes, if you select, uh, once you connected your iPod, iPod back up with it, uh, you would get this. Well, you would normally get this, but because it's in recovery mode, you wouldn't get the the music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, and those tabs and all you would get is the restore button and that would have like errors on it saying A, odd, whatever. If you click the restore button, once you click the restore button, it will try and find the file you just deleted. It won't be able to find it, so it will download it again. Then on the download section over there, it will start downloading it. It's a 200, probably 200 odd meg file, so it'll take some time. Once downloaded, you, um, the, I, the iPod is still connected you click the restore button and it will go f through its normal uh, thing, uh, loading process and once it's um, it will carry on loading and won't come this time won't come up with a 1604 error and then eventually would um, finally done and once it's finally done it will say it's uh, going to restart the iPod touch once it's restarted it and turn on you then get the backup thing. You don't want to back it up from your original backup file.
because that's where the error was so you don't want to put the error back on again so if you click don't back up from the file and start like a new version and once you've done that once you've um, and once you click the don't back up you um, get the, the all the music and stuff and you, you just go you find you have this and you just just put it back on tripod as usual and it should work thanks so much this is Toby Fancy Robots